maybe it's just because I'm so old school, but I, I love the ratio and I love the the thinking that goes into it. You lose a you lose a, a Canadian tackle, how do you replace him? Okay, do you bring in an American? That means you got to now take and put a Canadian somewhere else, so you're taking an American off the field. That that whole planning of okay, what happens if he gets hurt? What happens if he gets hurt? That's that's mm. that's what I love about managing the CFL. Oh wow, and and also on top of that, you're playing the uh, the money cap as well. <laughs> well, yeah, that's and that's 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 where things get into get dicey especially if you've got doug flutie as your quarterback (laughs) well yeah he's making that that's right that's you don't have a lot of money to (laughs) you know it's funny because i was talking to ed hervey right before he signed mike riley to what was the biggest contract since doug flutie when he got 700 plus um i don't even know i don't even know what all i know was it was up there i talked to ed i said so how high are you going to be willing to go he goes as high as I have to. And quarterback is what it's about. You, I mean, in terms of this, it's difficult to win without an efficient quarterback. It's very difficult. Now, Dane Evans last year comes in for Jeremiah Mazzoli. Nobody had ever heard of Dane Evans. He comes in and he plays at a very high level. Kudos to the coaches there, that to Tommy Condell, things like that. That doesn't happen. That's a rarity. Normally, what happens is, you know, you have to be good at that position. And so those guys yeah. command a lot of money when you have proven guy. 